Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for the sun, moon, or rising of Scorpio. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of August 2017. If you guys are interested in any private consultations or any of the services I provide, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. Also, if you guys like to... Uh, if you guys like to support my ch uh, YouTube channel, definitely check out the Patreon page that I just recently made. Uh, you guys can check that out. Anyways, let's get into the reading. This is for Scorpios. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to your love life. Spirit and messages. Let's get into this reading, Scorpios. Okay, your first card is the Two of Wands, second card is the King of Pentacles, third card is the Two of Swords, fourth card is the Hanged Man, partner's cards is the Five of Swords, Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and let me get the Central Issue cards, but what is the Central Issue? Okay. Oh, wow. This is so... Okay. So the central issue at the present time is the Queen, of, uh, the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is inviting you at the present time to be the motherly type or perhaps you guys have been experiencing that you are the motherly type. Whether you're a male or female, doesn't matter. It's a general reading. Uh... You could take on the qualities of the feminine, meaning you're not feminine, but meaning uh, being more understanding, being more homey, uh, trying the best you can to support your children, be there for your children, be there for your wife, be there for your husband, whatever the case may be. If you have not been doing that, it's highly encouraging you to do so. And the reason for that is because this is the center focal issue in the relationship at the present time. And that... Uh, you know, um, the fundamentals when it comes to family and structure. Now, how your partner is being seeing the situation or how they're approaching it, you have the two of wands. The two of wands is you're definitely approaching the situation or wanting to make this relationship work. The king, <clears throat> excuse me, king of pentacles, you're being the father type. You're being, so I do want to mention you guys have, um, the queen and king. So whenever this happens um, in any spread, this is a soulmate type of connection or this is a uh, family soul connection. What it means is you guys could be uh, experiencing uh, kind of like bringing out the worst in each other or one being triggered the most and being challenged. But what it is, it's the fact that you have to evolve. You have to grow. You have to mature. Because there's more than likely a high pr uh, probability that you guys are actually so connected. Okay? So the king of pentacles is definitely the father figure. Is definitely a practical man. Someone that is very nurturing, is very loving and understanding. But also uh, very stern, very... Um, you know, structured, very, very high work ethic, etc. And that's how you're viewing the relationship or how you're approaching the relationship. The two of swords is definitely being stuck or wanting to make a choice. And the wanting to make a choice with the hanged man has to do with the fact that perhaps your partner's not being very easy to deal with at the present time. Um, and the reason why I say that is because their cards are very negative. There is the, f the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is just looking for excuses to argue and fight, bicker over stupid things or things that are irrelevant. It has to do with the fact that they feel um, a little bit off balance. This is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is that uh, a person that usually doesn't know how to tame their attitude, their temper. They're very aggressive. And the Ten of Wands has to do with the fact that they're actually struggling with a lot of emotional a lot of emotional baggage it could be from the past or it could be that 
they've dealt with difficult situations in the past and are currently dealing with other situations that is kind of getting the best of them. But try the best you can um, because they do have the charity card here. And the charity card talks about balance, but it also talks about give and take. If you are the one that's giving too much into this relationship or trying the best you can or working very hard towards the relationship, then you need to step the fuck down and allow the other person to step in or to step up. And the reason why I say that is because if you look at your cards, your cards are being represented as you're very practical at the present time. You're very stable. You're very, you're focused. You know exactly uh, what you're supposed to be doing and you're exactly doing that. And your partner at the present time is, yeah, perhaps they're dealing with a lot of emotional things that are going on with them at the present time. But I feel that based on that, they're using that as an excuse to be able to lash out, to be able to throw things your way that you usually wouldn't deal with or wouldn't want to deal with. And the reason why you're dealing with it is because you're being compassionate towards the fact of what they're going through. But again, there's a, necess uh, there's a necessity for you to find balance, okay? Because obviously they're not being balanced. They're the ones usually to take, 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 or they're the ones usually giving, giving, and you're the one that's doing all the taking, okay? So I hope this resonates with you guys. Like, comment, share my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel, and we will speak to each other soon, okay?